What a busy morning. After I sorted out the water, I was able to finish Cracker's bath and he's now happily asleep next to me down here. One of the things that Paul reminds us about is singing and making music to the Lord. He reminds us that when we sing songs, we should be singing them from the heart to God. So I've made some shakers and that's what we're going to make today. What you're going to need is two yogurt cartons similar to this. It could be two plastic cups and it doesn't matter what size the yogurt cartons are, but it helps if they're the same size. Then we're going to need something to put inside to make our shake. I've got some rice or you could use some um, pasta shapes. So I'm going to put just a handful in one cup or maybe a little bit more than that. And then I'm going to put one cup on top of the other. I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to tape the two cups together. If you've got cups with a rim or yogurt cartons with a rim like this, this is really very easy. And there I have my shaker. Easy, but it doesn't look very much, does it, at the moment? Now, if you are using yogurt cartons that are already nice colours, well, you're halfway there. So this one, that I've made with pasta, I've just added some ribbons because I think that looks quite pretty already. On the one I made earlier, I've put some words on it to remind me to sing and make music to the Lord. So you might want to do that. I've done that by using stickers, but sometimes you can write straight onto the carton like this one. So I could make a pattern on the outside of the carton because on this carton, it's left a sort of paper covering. But I prefer to use some ribbon and I've got lots and lots of different ribbons. So I'm going to use some lovely purple ribbon. And I'm going to very simply tie that around the top of one end and I'm going to use some ordinary glue all the way around. You could just as easily do this with a strip of paper and I think for the other end of my shaker that might be what I do. So I've got that end with a nice ribbon on it and this end I'm going to use just some ordinary wrapping paper. We quite often have bits left when we've been wrapping parcels or when we have birthdays and things. We try to keep some paper um, because quite often when you've opened your present, you could really reuse the paper, couldn't you? And this is a great way to reuse just scraps of paper. Tidy it up at the end. And there you have the shaker. Now, I made very simple shakers with yogurt pots, so that I had three of those that I've done. But I was also having to think about what else could I use. So this is an empty kitchen roll shaker container, but really you can use any container that you like, anything that you can find that you, that's, um, that you can put rice or pasta or, or even um, buttons in, something that will shake. This would make a very long shaker. And I've also got an empty toilet roll holder. And then I'm going to put some pasta in for this one, just a few strands of pasta. And I've got some lovely silver paper here that I'm going to wrap around my toilet roll. I'll just move these so you can see. Wrap around my toilet roll, but I'm going to twist it slightly at either end. Like that. And so the pasta doesn't fall out, I'm going to use more ribbon. So I'm going to cut it just to the right size, tie it round so that, I, so that I don't shake it and get pasta all over the floor. Fabulous. There we go. And this one looks just like a cracker. So when we sing our next song, See if you can find your shakers and join in with the song, not just singing, but shaking to the rhythm as well. Have fun.